Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how to use parent and child security policies with Big IP Advanced WEF. This is demo 24 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate to advanced level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains four devices. We have an F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, two back-end web applications. We'll be using Big IP Advanced WEF to manage a parent security policy, which contains several application security settings. The parent policy will be used to create two child security policies, one for each web application. And finally, a Windows workstation will be used to submit requests to the two web applications. We'll start by examining the current security policy. Notice that this security policy type is parent. We use a parent security policy to define all the required and optional security policy settings for all child security policies. On the Inheritance Settings page, we can view and modify the different security policy categories that can be set at the parent level. With a category marked as mandatory, all child policies using this parent must take the parent settings. With a category marked as optional, all child policies using this parent can select whether to take the parent settings. We've already configured several of these settings, but we'll change the data guard setting to optional. Notice that headers is set to none, and HTTP protocol compliance, and server technologies, are both set to optional. We'll now save these settings. We'll now define some policy settings for the parent policy, starting on the learning and blocking settings page. We'll expand the attack signatures section. And we'll add the medium accuracy signature set to the generic detection signature set. We'll configure learning for file types. And then save this page. We'll use the data guard page. To enable the data guard feature for both credit card numbers and US social security numbers, we'll now save and apply the parent policy. We'll now return to the policies list page and create a new security policy. We'll give the policy a name and we'll leave the policy type set to security. We'll then select the comprehensive policy template. By selecting a parent policy, we're making this a child security policy. Finally, we'll select the correct virtual server. Notice that we can't modify several policy settings, such as the application language, the learning mode, and the learning speed. This is because the policy building process category is marked as mandatory in the parent policy. On the inheritance settings page, notice that some settings are inherited, which are marked as mandatory in the parent policy, and others are not inherited, which are marked as none in the parent policy. Three categories, Data Guard, HTTP Protocol Compliance, and Server Technologies, have a Decline button, because these categories are marked as optional in the parent policy. For HTTP Protocol Compliance, and Server Technologies, we'll select to decline the settings from the parent policy, and then save the changes. Let's select the parent policy, and then return to the inheritance settings page. 
We can now see which child security policies have accepted. And which have declined. The optional parent policy settings. Before we move on, we'll change the attack signatures category to mandatory. We'll now examine the parent policy settings that can and cannot be modified in the child security policy. On the general settings page, we can view the server technologies. Notice we can remove a server technology from the child security policy. Because we declined to inherit this category's settings, we can remove the options that were configured in the parent policy. On the learning and blocking settings page, in the attack signatures section, notice that we cannot remove the medium accuracy signature set. We'll add the command execution signature set. Because the attack signature category is marked as mandatory in the parent policy, attack signatures can't be removed from the child policy. However, additional signature sets can be added to the child policy. Keep in mind that this additional signature set will not affect any other child policies. The Learn New File Types option cannot be modified, because the File Types category is also marked as mandatory in the parent policy. In the Headers section, these settings can all be modified, because the headers category was left as none in the parent policy. On the data guard page, we are unable to modify these settings, because we chose to accept this optional parent policy setting. We're now going to open the Parameters List page. Then select the Wildcard entry. And clear the Perform Staging checkbox. And then set the Maximum Length option to Any. We're making these changes so that Big IP Advanced WERF won't allow requests with attack signatures that we'll be submitting shortly. We'll now apply the Child Security Policy. We'll now test the child security policy by accessing the DVWA web application and attempting a couple violations. We'll start by using an iMacro in Firefox to simulate traffic going to the web application. We're using this iMacro to begin building the child security policy. Let's examine the traffic learning page. The child security policy is already learning file types, showing that file type enforcement is underway. We'll now log into the web application as a malicious user. And then attempt a command execution attack. The attack is blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF Child Security Policy. Next, we'll submit a request with a credit card number. The credit card number in the HTTP response is masked. The web application is already protected against common attack signatures and information leakage. We'll now create a second child security policy for a different web application. First, we'll change the attack signatures category back to none in the parent policy. We're doing this due to a bug in Big IP Advanced WEF version 15.1. We'll now create the second child security policy.
for the hackers and virtual server. For the parent policy we'll change the attack signatures category back to mandatory. We'll leave all three optional inheritance settings for the hackers and security policy set to the defaults. On the parameters list page, we'll first ensure we're viewing the settings for the hackers and security policy. And then we'll modify the settings for the wildcard entry. And then apply the policy. We'll now access the hackers and web application. And we'll attempt a SQL injection attack in the search field. The request is blocked. We'll visit the FAQ page. and submit an entry with our social security number. By creating a security policy based on a parent security policy, this web application is quickly protected against common attack signatures, and also information leakage. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using parent and child security policies with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.